Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching Kingdom Minded, and my name is Pastor Shane Blackledge. Thank you so much for joining today, and if you're watching this video for the first time, thank you. Um, please subscribe and uh, follow my YouTube channel. So I have something I want to tell you real quick. Today, this podcast is going to give you five healthy habits during your recovery. This is very important and very essential. It helped me with my own personal recovery. It's helped so many other people um, in their recovery. Um, if you don't know me, I've worked as a ministry leader in Celebrate Recovery, not worked, I served as a Celebrate Recovery um, ministry leader and also a state rep. Uh, in the state of Iowa, and uh, I helped w uh, other people um, through a discipleship process going through the 12 steps um, that were Christ-centered 12 steps in Celebrate Recovery. And so um, I have a lot of experience in my own walk in recovery. I have been clean from a meth addiction for 16 years. I used to pop pills, smoke weed, drink alcohol, um, had an addiction to shopping, pornography, drug dealing, all kinds of addictions. I have an addictive personality. Um, and so the way to combat the addictive personality is to do uh, and create good habits. And so I just want to get started with five good habits. And the first one I want to talk to you about, the number one, I think, is very important, and it's having a healthy diet. Now, um, for me, I was on meth. I would barely eat any meals for days and days on end. And so my body took a toil and uh, it was beat up and it took a long time for me to get my strength back, get my body in shape. And it's very important to eat healthy. It's super easy to go eat fast food all the time uh, to, because you don't want to make dinner and things like that. I would strongly encourage you to have a balanced diet uh, with meats, vegetables, fruits, grains, oats, um, and just a variety of food. I think the more uh, variety of food that you have in your diet, the healthier you are um, and your body likes that. Uh, we were supposed to, we are created to eat fruits and vegetables and eat things from the land and our our body is happier when we do that so uh, there's so many healthy things um, protein proteins and carbohydrates and there's so many healthy things that are in fruits and vegetables and meats that we need um, to nurture our body and so it's so important to have that healthy diet so I would strongly encourage you if you're not eating healthy to start eating healthy. Um, there's a lot of very simple uh, recipes out there where it's less than five ingredients. You can throw it all together in a crock pot. Um, you can throw it into an instant pot um, and you can make a meal while you're at work and it can still be a healthy meal. Uh, we like to eat at in our home, low carb, high protein foods. Uh, and so we're often eating, uh, you know, chicken and, and other high proteins, uh, and then also having vegetables on the side. And I like to eat a lot of fruit. I buy different fruits and vegetables throughout the week because I like a variety. So number one, start having a healthy habit. When you kick a bad habit, you have to replace that bad habit with a good habit. Start by having a healthy diet. You will reap so many benefits. You will have so much more energy. Your body will um, recover and grow and get stronger. Number two, exercise. Put exercise in your schedule. You really need to do this. Um, even if it's just walking um, 10,000 steps, I would say um, it's not hard to do. You just have to be persistent in doing it, uh, especially if you have a job where you sit down at the desk or you don't have a lot of mobility and you don't move around. Maybe you're standing in a factory. Uh, you really need to exercise. Um, when you exercise, your body releases endorphins, your body releases um, a ton of energy and you just feel better about yourself. You feel good when you exercise. 
um, you get a rush by exercising. So you might not be able to go to the gym, um, or you, but you can go for a walk. You can buy a bike. You can go for a ride. Um, those are really less stressful things that you can do. It takes the stress off of life. takes the stress off of you being busy. So um, I walk a lot every day. I hit 10,000 steps pretty much almost every single day um, because it's important and I feel good and it keeps me on my toes. It keeps me moving and it keeps my body in shape and you feel good about it because exercise makes you feel good. It literally makes you feel good. Um, if you're going through depression, um, if you're having um, a tough battle with that, I strongly recommend changing your diet and starting to exercise that will turn things around completely 180 for you number three practice sleeping habits that are very good what i mean by good is i would at least sleep for at least seven to nine hours if you're not sleeping seven to nine hours um, maybe you should take some melatonin or go see your doctor and see what the doctor can do to help you do that um, I have read some studies that um, dementia, there might be a cause of dementia due to a lack of sleep for years and years. There's just some studies that kind of point to that, but it's not most definite. But um, I would caution with if you're not sleeping very well, if you're only averaging maybe four to six hours, it's not healthy. It's not a healthy sleeping habit. You need to sleep longer seven to eight hours your body needs it your brain needs it um that's the sweet spot i try to hit eight hours of sleep every day doesn't happen all the time but i love to sleep seven to nine hours i'm an early person early in the morning person so i get up really early so i rarely ever ever sleep past like 7 a.m um, so it's sometimes it's a challenge, but I have to be disciplined. I have to set boundaries and I have to tell myself to go to sleep, uh, start having a good habit of sleeping, um, and start having a good habit of having a good sleeping pattern. Okay. Number four on the list. This is super important, probably the most important, if not one of the most important things that you need to do. Number four is connect with other people either in a support support group, a small group. Um, I highly recommend if you are in recovery um, to be a part of a support group. I personally like going to Celebrate Recovery because Celebrate Recovery is for people that are dealing with any hurt, any habit, or any hang up. So it's not just for alcoholics. It's not just for drug addicts. It's not just for um, mental illness. It is for everyone. I honestly don't know anybody on this planet that doesn't deal with life issues. We all have issues. Um, it's whether or not you're in denial about actually having those. So I love Celebrate Recovery, but there's a lot of other recovery programs out there that you can be a part of. I think the most important thing that I'm trying to stress to you is that you just need to be connected with other people. Recovery is not meant to be done alone. Recovery is meant to be done with other people. It will help you in your walk. It will help you in your recovery to do that. I strongly recommend finding a place where you can connect with other people. If you want to go to a Celebrate Recovery, you can just go to www.celebraterecovery.com. You can click on the locator map, type in your zip code, your city, and it'll pop up the nearest Celebrate Recoveries near you. So, the last and final thing with five healthy habits is you need hobbies. You need something that's going to draw interest to you. When you're in recovery from addiction, you need to put your mind to something else. For me, when I first got clean, I picked up a camera. I bought a really nice one. I took a college class for photography and I started shooting the lens. And let me tell you, boom, 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 boom. It was so soothing. It was so amazing. And then I started doing family photos. And then I started doing baby pictures. And then I started doing uh, events. And then I started doing weddings. And the next thing you know, this passion of taking pictures just grew. And I took hundreds of sessions 
for families, for friends, for loved ones, for even for strangers. And it was an amazing experience, but I still love it to this day. I love taking my camera out and shooting uh, portraits. I love shooting families. I love shooting people, but I also love shooting nature. I love shooting the, uh, the trees and the skies and, and, and I love architecture. I'll take pictures of houses and stuff. So I really love it. It's become a hobby. Another hobby that I picked up on was gardening. I love to plant flowers. I love to plant plants. I, I love to have plants in the house and prune them and change the soil, repot them. I love to just see things start out new from seed. I just love it. There's something so amazing about seeing God grow things. So I would strongly encourage you to pick up something of interest. Another interest of mine was I love to travel. I love to see new things. I love to hike. I love to camp. I love to fish. So I try to go places I've never been before. Sometimes I just like to go and people watch. Sometimes I like to just go and shop and browse stores down in towns and cities I've never been to. So these are some of the things that you can do that will really help you out with your recovery and also keep your mind busy and you're not stagnant. You can run into some really serious triggers if you don't keep yourself busy but you don't want to just work 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 you need to do some leisure you need to do something fun so I strongly encourage you to do something maybe you are mechanical and you want to work on bikes or you want to work on a car or you want to do woodworking you can build something just put your mind to doing something that you are interested in this will really help you with your recovery so I really hope that you enjoyed it please like and follow me for more videos, five healthy habits in your recovery. God bless.